Welcome to Joey's Tech Friends. In this video, I will tell you how to solve the problem count numbers with unique digits from lead code. I will explain to you the intuition before we actually begin solving the problem. So let's go straight into understanding the problem statement. So if you are given an integer n, you need to find out the count of all numbers with unique digits x, where x is going to be greater than equal to 0 and less than 10 raised to the power n. So if n is equal to 2, the answer should be all the numbers between 0 and 100. 100 is 10 raised to the power 2 because and do note that 0 is included but 100 is not. So how many numbers exist between 0 and 99? 100, right? But we are talking about numbers with unique digits. So we'll have to exclude 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88 and 99 because they don't have unique digits. So that's 9 subtracted from 100. So what becomes the count of all numbers when n is equal to 2? 91. Now when n is 0, then the count of all numbers between 0 and 1 with 1 not included is going to be 1 because there exists only 0 in this range, right? I am sure you have got the problem statement now. So let's begin understanding the intuition. You have already seen how we found out the number 91 for n equals to 2. So now we need to think on n equals to 3. We already know that between 0 and 99, there are 91 numbers with unique digits. We need to find out the count of numbers with unique digits between 100 and 999, right? Whatever the count comes out of all numbers with unique digits between 100 and 999, we'll add 91 to it and that will give us the answer. The first thing that is intuitive is the count of numbers between 100 and 999 will be in three digits. That's super obvious, right? Since it's a three digit number, it will have a hundreds digit, a tens digit and a unit digit. So how many possibilities exist for the hundreds digit? Any number between one and nine? Yes, we can't have zero, right? So nine possibilities exist. All right, let's move to the tens digit. How many possibilities do we have for this digit? I took a hunch on 9. But then I realized that it can't be because we are dealing with unique digits. So one digit which is at 100's place should not be considered. So I reduced 9 by 1 and put 8 over here. But wait a minute. For the 10th digit, we can also include 0, right? You can't have 0 at the 100's place but you can have zero over here. So the number of possibilities again increases to nine. Okay. And that is what the right number of possibilities is for the 10th digit. All right. We have got two candidates. Let's focus on the third one now. So how many possibilities do we have? We have numbers from zero to nine, which makes it 10 possibilities, but we need to reduce the number 10 by 1 for this digit over here and 1 for this digit over here. So that brings us to 8. In simple words, this place can't have a digit that is over here and the digit that is over here. All right. So I put 8 over here. So the count is going to be 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8. That gives us 648 and we add a 91 to it from here we get 739 and that's the count of all numbers with unique digits for n equals to 3. So if we take into account n equals to 4 then the count becomes 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7. Now if we go back to n equals to 2 then let's see if we can find out the number 91 using the same formula. So we know for n equals to 1, what's the count of unique digits? It's simple. 10, right? Numbers from 0 to 9. Okay. Now between 10 and 99, if we need to find the count of numbers with unique digits, then this is super obvious that it's going to be a two digit number. Okay. So what's the possibility? For this 10th digit, 9 again, right? 
numbers from 1 to 9 excluding 0 we can't have 0 over here and what's the possibility for this unit digit 9 again we just saw how we populated 9 over here for n equals to 3 so this gives us 9 multiplied by 9 and that gives us 81 we add 10 from here and what do we get 91 so let's do it using dp it's so simple we create an array named arr to find out the solution for n equals to 3 so what will be the value at index 0 1 right we found it out earlier and at index 1 that means for n equals to 1 it will be 10 we just found it out over here and we can choose to fill these indexes on our own at the start of the program for this index that means for n equals to 2 we'll calculate the count of numbers between 10 and 99 which comes out as 81 and then we need to add to it the value at the index 1 less than this one so 10 will be added to 81 that is going to give us 91 which we populate over here now for n equals to 3 it will be 648 that is the count of all numbers with unique digits between 100 and 999 we calculated that a while ago to that we are going to add 91 which is present at index 2 because index 2 is one less than index 3 so 648 plus 91 is going to give us 739 which we populate over here and that's it job done and that's how we can easily solve the problem of count numbers with unique digits using dynamic programming and with this we have come to the end of this video if you want to see the java program of the solution of this problem then you can use the link of my github repo which is given in the description box of this video thanks for sticking around we'll see you in the next video of joey's tech Goodbye and take very good care of yourself.